guys, it's Drac on Everyday Alchemy. I got in a really interesting series of packages from Steve Argyle. For those of you that don't know, Steve Argyle is a very popular artist for the card game Magic the Gathering, and I've made friends with him and gotten a few cool things back from him in the mail. So to start off with, I want to show you some of the playmat prints he sent me. This is the altered art of Liliana of the Veil, and... I think that the colors on these mats are just better than anything Ultra Pro puts out. This next one is uh, Chandra Nalar when she's not on fire, which is not how she usually is. She's usually on fire. So this is a very cool original piece by Steve. And then this is the Gliss of the Traitor art he did for, I think, Phyrexia's game day or maybe Phyrexia's release. I know it was a promo card. It's a very cool promo. I actually have a copy of the card. Then he sent me this package, which has some things in it. We'll get to that in a minute. But first, I'm going to open up this bundle. And you can see that he has autographed some of my favorite cards. I play a few different kinds of decks. I do have a vampire deck. So he's autographed my Liliana of the Veil, vale, my Vampire Lacerator, which is just great, uh, bladed Pinions and the Barbed Battle Gear, not because these see a ton of play, but because I just really like the art on them. I'm a fan of, of Steve Argyle's style in general. Night Revelers, which is a cool vampire card. The Blood Throne Vampire, Markov Servant, I actually have a playset of these that he's autographed for me on both sides, which was very cool of him. And one of them is in foil, so that's very neat. The Falcon Wrath Torturer, which is really cool art. It doesn't see a lot of play, but I think it might have a place in white-black tokens. Bonds of Faith, which does see a ton of play. Two foil Gouldraz vampires, because these are just great one-drops. And a deadly allure, because the art on it is killer. Literally, get it? And then another Liliana of the Veil. Vale. So that's two Lilies, and then a few other cards that I like. And then I have a special way of blanking cards. So I sent him a blank swamp, and Steve was kind enough to do a original sketch on this for me and autograph it, which I think is just really cool. Any artist that takes that kind of time and, and does that for a fan or a friend is just really cool. Art is all about promoting yourself, and this was just a very nice thing that he did for me. It looks like some sort of cartoony sketch. It definitely has the swampish feel to it, and it's got his style all over it. So I'm trying to take it off to kind of show you what my blanked cards look like after they're they're out of the, the painter's tape the way I do them, and it's taking a minute. I also blanked the, the signature zone down where Magic prints the original artist of cards so that he could sign it there. So there is a completely tournament legal custom Steve Argyle Swamp and I just thought that, that was really nice and neat of him. So that's my video on my stuff from Steve Argyle. He's a really cool artist. Even if you don't play Magic the Gathering you should check out his stuff. It's all available at his website. Online it's steveargyle.com so that's pretty easy and thanks for watching guys.